This weekend, baseball and softball return to Grand Forks. All starts with softball taking on Big Sky Full in Northern Colorado in a three-game series Friday and Saturday. Then baseball squares off with their new conference opponent, Seattle, for a three-game set Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Game time is subject to change. You can watch and listen to these games on UND Insider. For complete webcast information, go to undsports.com. Take me out to the ballpark. Coach Jeff Dodson's <laughs> with us in the UND baseball team, and you guys have been playing. We haven't had uh, an opportunity to see a whole lot of baseball around here. Jeff, you've had that in California and Chicago and Utah and every place else. Your team has uh, gotten after a great start in the WAC conference, huh? Yeah, they have. They're ready to be home, though. It's uh, you know definitely no, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely good to sleep in your own bed and, and uh, get to play in front of your own fans and things like that. But we, we I think we've handled ourselves uh, really well on the road. We're tied for third in the league right now, and one of the teams that we're tied with we have here this weekend. This will be, we talked about it, in uh, the top six teams in the WAC Conference make it to the tournament, and so these three games this weekend could go a long way in determining that, huh? Yeah, it really could. And, and uh, you know, essentially you put a team, if you win a series, you put a team three games behind you. Uh, you know, and, and it's a, it's a big, uh, big, you know, series for us, and we have to be at the top of our game. Seattle has a nice club, even though they're uh, not, you know, really known, I don't think, as being a, a great baseball school, uh, you know, in some parts, especially the Midwest. But they have a really nice club. They had a great recruiting class who were freshmen this year. Year, uh, similar to where we were two years ago, so they're going to be a very tough opponent this week. I was going to say that, you know, you, your team was young two, <laughs> right. two years ago. Now you've matured and developed, and you've got to be pretty happy with the way things have come along for you. Yeah, I really have. We've got, uh, you know, we've got a great group of juniors. That's a, you know, a huge class for us. And then we've got four seniors this year, and every one of those guys are factoring in big for us. Uh, you know, Mount Patrick Reaver, uh, Taylor Peterson, uh, Jake Threlkeld, uh, Zach Trickstad, all those guys who have been at different points, uh, you know, in their uh, in their career, uh, you know, in this program, but uh, you know, Trickstad, who's been here the longest, has been a, a big factor for us, and uh, you know, we're we're excited about you know maybe giving those guys a good send off here. You know, your Peterson, your catcher, uh, with the with the younger pitching staff coming along, how has he done a good good job with the pitchers? Obviously, it seems like it anyway. Yeah, it really does. He's uh, he's got a very good mindset for the game. Uh, you know, baseball, he's very uh, very mentally tough, and uh, you know, he he expects a lot out of our pitchers uh, and himself, and and uh, you know, the rest of the guys as well. So it's great to have a guy like him leading your pitching staff. Coach, uh, you, you uh, mentioned in previous conversations that uh, you guys are getting some two out hitting. You'd probably like to start the offense a little bit sooner than that. That's a good trait to have, but maybe right. just getting it going a little bit earlier and then you can produce a few more runs even. Yeah, right, absolutely. That's one thing that really got us into trouble this weekend, uh, you know, at Chicago State is we didn't do a lot, uh, you know, to begin the inning or with one out. And, uh, you know, the odds of getting, in, you know, in college baseball roughly, the odds of getting three consecutive hits are 27 to one. So uh, we try to stay away from those, uh, you know, odds. And, uh, you know, we try to, uh, you know, try to get something started. One of our goals this weekend uh, will be to have, uh, you know, the leadoff hitter on base five of the nine innings that we're playing uh, you know, in, in the game and uh, to give ourselves, just, uh, self to ourselves a chance to create something, uh, you know, essentially, and uh, you know, to force them to think more and put a little more perceived pressure, I think, on the offense. You don't see a high school kid come in and throw at uh, this level of college ball as well as uh, Zach Muckenhern has done. What's uh, the key to his game? As you, I mean, he struck out, I think, uh, almost as many guys as innings he's pitched. Yeah. What's his? What's the key to that young guy? Well, I think it's what's inside him. Uh, you know, he uh, he really has, uh, uh, you know, he has a lot of guts. He has a lot of belief in himself. His work ethic is second to none on our club, even though he's a freshman. And uh, he's gained 20 some odd pounds since he's been here. And uh, you know, his velocity uh, has increased on his fastball, and his secondary pitches have gotten better too. Uh, but when he steps on the mound, uh, you know, I know he's throwing game two uh, for us now, uh, but there's a case, uh, you know, you can make for him to be our number one. But, uh, you know, game two is a huge swing game. You know, if you lose game one, you want to have a chance to win game two so you can try to avoid the sweep on the last day. And then if you win game one, uh, you know, you take two out of three if you win game two. So he's in a great spot for us in the rotation. And, uh, you know, he, he's a good, uh, good guy to have in your club. That's a heck of a spot put a young guy in, isn't it? <laughs> right, he's up for it though. He's, yeah, he's yeah, really good. If he's yeah. ready for it. That just yeah, means that, better things to come in the future, huh? Right. That's why he signed for us, signed with us because he knew he was going to get the opportunity if he earned it to, uh, you know, to pitch. And uh, you know, he's he's doing a doing a really good job for us. These guys asked it earlier about Jeff Campbell and why he would come here from California and play here. Obviously, a very uh, good ball player, pitcher, and uh, yep. he hits the ball well. He's in home runs. 
So tell him why he, why he came to North Dakota. Yeah, well, he's uh, you know he was a guy that uh, when he came on his recruiting visit, all he brought with him uh, you know was shorts, and uh, <laughs> you know, and then it snowed on his recruiting visit. So I'm thinking that when the, as soon as the first snowflake hit the ground, you know, I'm thinking he's out he's the gone. door. And uh, but but you know, fortunately, he gave us uh, you know a verbal commitment on that trip, and uh, you know when he came on his recruiting visit. But we got him because uh, he wanted to pitch and hit, and uh, that was a big thing for you know a lot of uh, you know bigger schools wanted him to either pitch or hit, and we gave him the opportunity to do both. Jeff, we, uh, we'll be there this weekend. Best of luck. Great, thank you very much. Jeff Dodson, UND baseball coach, and uh, they play Seattle this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Craft Field.